but here's the Nashville. Hey, I know you heard about Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. The food was there when you were around Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. I know you heard about Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. The food was there when you were around Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. Hey, butterflies. What's up, you guys? Long time no see. I ain't been on here in a hot minute. Um, so so happy to see y'all. Today we got a vegan Nashville hot chicken sandwich, you guys. Looks yummy. I have some okra and I made just like a quick little salad, really, really quick. Um How's everyone doing? I hope well. I want to talk about the election because I really haven't said much about it. Um, and I, I'm not going to say a whole lot, but yeah, I want to just talk about it a little bit, y'all. But here's the Nashville hot. And let's take that bite. Where are we going to take it at? Right here. I'm gonna try to stay on schedule this week, y'all. The word is try. Okay, but we'll see how things go. I'm gonna take that little piece. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that. This is crunchy. A lot of people got a lot of thoughts about the election. And um, my thing is, is that we shouldn't be losing friendships, relationships, you know, any kind of ships over this election. I feel like people should have their own, people can have their own opinions about whatever, even if it doesn't agree with you. No, right.
I literally have a friend now, y'all, that I've met her since I've been here, who's gay, openly gay, you know, and he likes Kamala more than Trump, you know, but but he was here at my house yesterday, you know, but I don't hate him. I'm not speaking. It's not like I don't speak to him because he doesn't have my view about the election. No. Like, that's still my friend. That's crazy to me. Some of these people that they, that that are saying this on TV, I feel like it's ridiculous. Like, listen, I didn't like when Joe Biden became president in 2020. I didn't like it at all. And I know a lot of people are salty about this president being elected but he's elected ain't nothing you can do about it you know what I mean like deal with it just like I dealt with it in 2020 because honestly I felt like he got robbed in 2020 but Listen, the American people have spoke for that map to be just nothing but red. I'm talking about a little blue here, a little blue there. Like, he swept her. He swept Molly Wap. I don't care, whatever you want to call it. This was not a close race whatsoever. This was not close at all. She didn't even get a chance. Like, you know how they say, he didn't even pinch the bitch. <laughs> she didn't even pinch him. Listen, the American people have spoke. That woman had everybody vouching for her. Everybody. And the sad part is, is that after all of this is said and done, she literally had billions of dollars to campaign with. And from what is leaking in her campaign is that now she's if I'm not mistaken, y'all, I think I heard $20 million in debt from the campaign because a lot of people donated to her, which this, this doesn't make no sense. Hold on. I'm going to tell y'all, right? A lot of people donated to her campaign, right? And now they mad and like they want their money back, but that don't make sense. When you donate to a campaign, 
you can't really be asking. I don't see how you can ask for your money back because you that's the investment. You know what I mean? But from what the girl was saying uh, on the news is, is that she's in debt. Now, this just goes to show that you had a lot of money to campaign with and now you have ended up in a deficit. To me, you can't run the country. You can't run the country. How can you have billions of dollars for your campaign and you can't even manage? You mismanaged your campaign. You spent a lot of money on BS commercials that nobody paid attention to. You know, you literally had the entire media behind you. You had the entire media behind you, but apparently the United States of America was like, uh -uh. and listen, Trump is, is Trump the best candidate? I don't think he is, you know what I mean? I don't see him as, you know, like one of the best because he say outlandish shit. He say stuff that, you know, um, he shouldn't be saying, you know, um, but there, Trump is like a person that who you don't like, but they give you the hardcore truth, like your auntie or, you know, like a parent or just somebody who if you actually if you really listen to what they're saying, it's some kind of truth in it. It might not be the proper way or the political way to say it, but if you really sit back and think about what they're saying, in a way it's somewhat true. That's who I look at Trump like that. But me, I'm a person, I like hardcore truth. And that's just what it is, you know. I really don't, I, he doesn't come off to me as like a political um, individual. He's just someone to give it to you to, 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 like that, you know? He's just someone, he just someone like that or whatever. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I really thought, listen, I thought she was literally going to get swept. That was really what I saw on that screen. I thought she was going to get swept. But I thought that in my mind, but when I'm seeing on TV, they're saying, oh, they're so close, they're so close, they're so close. So I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be a close um, election. But in the back of my mind, I always felt like she was going to get swept. Like, it was no choice but get swept. Um, but, I don't know, for the people who don't like Trump or whatever, oh yeah, you have to deal with him for four years, that's it. He won't be back after four years. He been in served his eight years. And you know, for the racial text and all of that, I think that's BS. I feel like that's the Democratic Party has something to do with that. They're very salty. As you can see, the Democratic Party is very salty. Mm -hmm and they feel some type of way and so i think it's just a a dirty prank to get people to be like see i told you i told you trump is gonna be in office all of this racial stuff is about to happen um i really think it's that um for the people who really feel like oh you gonna trump is gonna ship you back on a boat you're gonna be picking cotton. I mean, really? I mean, let's be clear now. Okay, just because he's in office, he has to, we have three branches of government, okay? So for him to decide whatever it is he wanna do, he has to go through the branches. He has to go through the Senate, you guys. So for people who's like just ooh, fearful and scared, don't be scared. Like, he can't just start doing whatever he want to do. This is the whole reason why we have the Senate and the three branches of government people. So relax, remember. And also too, before I go, whatever, as far as women rights, he did not take women rights, people, okay? 
if you really do your due diligence and study, what happened was Trump gave away the um, his rights to the state, you guys. So he has the state decide, okay, if they want to ban abortion or if, if they want to um, leave abortion open. He has nothing to do with that. Trump gave away with that. Yes, he yes, he laid down uh, Roe versus, Ro versus Wade. But at the same time, he is not the one that's dictating women's rights. It's your governor of the state, the state of Texas, the state of Florida, the state of New Mexico. It's your governor that decides as far as the people as well. So if you are someone who's upset because there's not a... Uh, abortion ban on your state or there is an abortion ban maybe you need to look in voting into the right um, candidate or governor okay because Trump has nothing to do with that he gave it away to the states he decided so when you hear a lot of women say oh my rights are being taken the rights are not being taken if you want to say your rights are being taken blame your governor Blame your governor. Don't blame Trump. He has nothing to do with that. And all of a sudden, why is everybody so worried about their rights when Biden was in office this whole entire time? Biden could have changed that if he wanted to, you got. He could have did away with that. But no, he left it alone. So y'all go fight with him. Go fight with him. Like, it's crazy. But, um... All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I have a lot. I could say a lot more on all of this information, but honestly, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just a spectator. I did not vote in this situation. Um, honestly, whoever won, um, I'm going to be good with. I mean, I would prefer it to be Trump, but, you know, if it would have been Kamala, then so be it. I would just have to deal with it, you know? But um, he won fair and square, and he won and he won by a big margin. So I'm gonna go, you guys. That is my take. I will see y'all later, and hopefully I'll be able to drop a video on Wednesday. To the loo.